Hello, I'm your instructor Matthew, and today we're going to be going over how to jive. So, would anyone here happen to know how to do that? No. Is it when you, when you move the sail across the boat somehow? That is pretty much I heard it's pretty scary. Doing it. Really? You can get hurt jiving. Yeah, I heard somebody whack their head. No, I, I don't think we want to jive. You should be okay. It should be okay. Okay. So, do you guys know the first step of driving without looking at the board? Duck. No. That is definitely a step in driving, but that is not the first step. Put your life jacket on? I mean, that's definitely a very important step to sailing, but that does not have anything to do with the jive, right? Okay. So, let me take you through the steps of the jive. So, first, go in with the skipper. So, do you guys know what the skipper is? He's the guy in charge. Good, very good. So, first step is definitely to warn the crew of jive. How do you do that? Just gotta say, okay, are you ready to jive? And then make sure that your crew confirms that because it is very important. Do you have to tell them or can you just duck and hope they see you? It's very important to tell the crew because jiving can be dangerous. So what do you yeah. say? So what does the skipper say? Just say, prepare to jive. And then how do I, if I'm the crew, say? Just um, confirm. Con acknowledge that you have heard the warning. Okay. So, second step is bear off gently. So, do you guys know what bearing off is? I don't. Do you guys want to take a guess at it? Bear. Is it to like kind of let your sails go a bit? No, no, no. Okay. So bearing off has to do with the tiller, right? Okay. So when you bear off, you're going to pull the tiller towards you nice and gently, right? Do you guys know the opposite of bearing off? Heading up. Very good. And what do you do when you head up? Push the tiller away from you. Good job. So for the crew, the second step is definitely keep the boat flat and uncleat your jib sheet. Do you guys know what the jib sheet is? Yeah. How do you keep the boat flat? Remember, when you're sailing, your boat's going to have the wind on the sails, which is going to cause the heel, right? So you want to make sure on the high side and try and balance that, try and counter that sail, or the heel, sorry. So, third step for the skipper is, as the boat, as the top battens begin to flick, you want to grab the main sheet, kind of pull on it gently and that will cause the boom to flip across and make sure that you duck under the boom. Very important to do that. So what's making the top of the sail flick? That would be when the stern of the boat passes through the wind, your battens are going to begin to flick as it loses power. Hmm. And you're going to want to pull the main sheet which will cause the sail to come to go further past that point will cause it to flip over to the other side. Remember, it's very essential to duck under there, under the sail. And for the crew, you're also going to want to watch for the top battens flicking, and you're going to want to grab the boom bang and gently pull it over to make sure that you're controlling your jive. And do we duck too? Yes, it's very important to duck because you do not want to take the boom in the head. Okay. So, fourth step is you want to cross the boat with your back foot first. Do you know why you do your back foot first? Mm -hmm. So you don't look backwards. Very good, very good. That was absolutely correct. So fourth step of the crew is you're also going to want to cross the boat and trim the jib on the new side to the wind. And final step for the skipper is you're going to want to straighten the boat and keep going on your course. So. I have a role playing game for you guys. Okay, so who wants to be the skipper? I'll be the skipper. Okay, okay. so you're gonna be the skipper, <laughs> you're gonna be the crew. Okay. So, do you guys have any questions on these steps? Well, I think you did a great job explaining it. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so we are going to set up this boat here. So, we got here crew chair and your skipper chair and then move these closer and you're gonna have 
your tiller. Right here. It's a pretty long tiller. Yeah, it's oh, it's good. Though. This must be off a laser or something. Okay, so do you guys remember the first step? Warn the crew. Good job. All right, can you demonstrate that for me? Crew, ready to jive? Okay. Good. So, remember your second step now? Bear off gently. You remember your second step? I have to keep the boat flat and okay. unclip the jib sheet, so... Yep. Mm -hmm. And step three now. <laughs> so, begin to bear off. I'm bearing off looking at the top of the sail. Alright, so step three, looking at the top of the sail. Watch those battens as they're flicking. I'm starting and to flick. Your step three, you're going to watch for those top battens as well. You're going to grab hold of that boom bang. Okay. Okay. And step four, boom's coming over. You're going to duck <laughs> and cross with your back foot first, passing until they're behind you. Cross over, uncleat, and now cleat the new jib sheet and trim it. Okay. And straighten the boat out, and you're ready to go on your new course. Okay, guys, that was great, but now I want to try I want to see you guys try it on your own. Okay? All on our own? Yeah. You guys okay. did it pretty much perfectly that time. So I want to see you do it on your own. You guys ready? Okay, go for it. It's all yours. The first thing I think I have to do is I have to tell you. Okay, crew, ready to jive? Ready to jive. Okay, I'm starting to bear off. Okay, I might think I, I unclip the jib sheet, right? And I try to keep the boat flat. I'm getting a little bit of flicking at the top of the mainsail. Okay, here we go. We're jiving. Duck. Duck. And I'm pulling the boat. Okay. Now what do I do? I, uh, I straightened up. I'm on course. Oh, and I have to, yeah, I have to uh, uh, reclip the jib sheet, right? Okay, done. Okay. How do we do? Very good, guys. Okay. Anything we missed? Uh, you didn't trim the jib. You just clipped it in. Make oh. sure that you trim it to the wind. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. So that was very good, guys. So you want to just take one quick, one quick look at the steps, and we're gonna do a quick quiz now. Okay. Let's take quiz. that quiz. Quick look. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You guys ready? So. What do you think the first step to driving is? Or what are all the steps to driving? You're gonna do it for the skipper, you're gonna do it for the crew. Ready? Go. You go first. I warn the crew. I tell her that we're gonna jive. And then I confirm I've heard that we're gonna jive. Okay. And I bear off. So I pull the tiller towards me. Yeah. And I wait till the top of the sail starts flicking. Yeah. And then I tell the crew that we're getting ready, or we're gonna jibe, and and then I I'm also watching the sail for the for the flicker, mm -hmm. and I tighten the jib sheet a bit, and then I pull the boom bang. No, you do not tighten the jib okay. sheet. You just want to uncleat the jib sheet, right? Okay. And you want to pull the boom bang across, make sure it's nice and controlled, and sorry, um, skipper, you also missed pulling the main sheet. You want to make sure you. Pulling the main sheet just a little bit to help control that jive. So it's not a flying jive. Is that yeah. what they call that? Yeah. Okay. 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 Alright, next step. So you've jived. I jive. Oh, I step across, keeping the tiller behind me, so my back foot first. Correct. And then I straighten the boat up. Yep. And your last steps? And I step across to basically with the same footing, and I re cleat the jib sheet. And tighten it a bit, or like trim the sail. Good, good. All right, guys, very good. So, do you guys have any questions about jive? When do you jive versus tack? Well, so for jiving is when you want to put the stern of the boat through the wind, correct? Mm -hmm. So, when you want, so when you have, um, say, the wind is blowing behind you and you would like to so you have your sail on this side and you'd like to start moving more to that direction correct so you're gonna to want to jive the sail over now you can pull the sail in a bit and keep going in that direction versus you would have to pretty much do like a 360 tack to get in that same heading okay but it's safer we won't hit ourselves in the head 
but it is much more efficient. And by doing a jibe when in control, it will also be safe. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you guys ready to go try that on the water? Yippers. All right, let's go. Great.